geology in a jiffy. What's in the bag? It's... Extracting aluminium from its ore by using electrolysis. Aluminium, or aluminium, is this light grey coloured, low density metal, which also has this range of properties, which makes it very useful for us to use. Aluminium is extracted from its ore called aluminium oxide, or bauxite, with the formula Al2O3. In the reactivity series, aluminium is above carbon, which means that aluminium cannot be extracted by heating it with carbon, so we have to use the process of electrolysis instead. We know from our electrolysis video that using this apparatus with an electrolyte will allow an electrical current to flow, with the cathode attracting positively charged cations and the anode attracting negatively charged anions. In aluminium oxide, the aluminium ions have a 3 plus charge, and there are two of them. And the oxide ions have a 2 minus charge, and there are three of them. These all strongly bonded together, meaning we have to melt the ore to extract the aluminium. When we take a closer look into aluminium oxide, we see the ions locked in their solid crystalline state. So when electricity is passed through it, it will not conduct meaning we have to melt it, so enabling the ions to be free to move in the liquid, so enabling it to conduct an electrical current. When extracting aluminium from its ore, we adjust our apparatus so that it is more like a swimming pool, this lined with carbon, and then charge it as a negative cathode, another carbon block being suspended from above and charged as the anode. Aluminium oxide is then tipped in from above and electrolyzed giving us two main products, the first being aluminium, the second being oxygen, which then reacts with the carbon in the anode to make carbon dioxide gas. But stop! The electric bill for this process must be very high, because using electricity to melt aluminium oxide must be very expensive. So the electric bill would be very high, which would not make you cry just a little, but probably cry a lot, as this material called cryolite is added, because melting aluminium oxide happens at over 2000 degrees C, and when cryolite is added, this lowers the temperature to only 700 degrees C. That's amazing! So cryolite is also added to our aluminium oxide, with aluminium then attracted to and extracted at the cathode, this then separated by pouring or tapping the liquid metal off, and the oxygen forming at the anode. Wow! So from aluminium oxide, when we melt and electrolyze it, and add cryolite, we can extract pure aluminium and oxygen. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!